Oh god, it's happening, it's starting! Oh, we're running them over. Oh, we're running them over. Yeah, bash her head in, come on. Oh... You might be wondering... <laughs> Matthew, where are you? What... What what the what the f is this? Like where are you? You know, um, well, long story short. Okay, well, long story short, I had to switch rooms. So, oh okay, no, stop, stop. Um, long story short, I had to switch rooms in our house. So we have a we have a new setup. We have a new background. This nice wall. I've already started to decorate it a little bit with this. Come on, there you go. It's my old kitty, Soda. My first cat ever. She sadly passed away two years ago now. Otherwise, what the? Dude, this wasn't doing this like, like an hour ago. What the hell? Okay, anyway, she sadly passed away. Otherwise, I would have her in my videos for sure. She would literally be like right here most of the time or on my lap in the in these videos. So but yeah, this is our new setup. Oh, I'm not like that great at color grading or anything. I try to make my videos look as good as possible, but I have no idea how this footage is going to look once like, I'm editing it. So this is going to take some trial and error to try and make it look as good as possible in this new spot. So if this image doesn't look that good right now, I apologize. It's going to take some trial and error to fix. There's going to be a learning curve in this new area. So I'm trying my best, but, but if it looks like ass, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about putting something like right here. Uh, what should I put right here? If you have any suggestions, let me know, please. But today we are going to be starting a brand new series and that is The Last of Us. And it just came out on HBO Max today. There's one episode out. I'm, I'm gonna be doing it week to week too. So that's gonna be very exciting. Now, what do I know about The Last of Us? I don't know much, to be honest. I know this is based off a video game, but I never played it because I'm not a PlayStation guy. I'm an Xbox guy, and it was exclusive to a PlayStation, so it might be on PC. I'm not sure, but I don't play PC anyway. But I've always, I've heard such good things about it. I heard the game was amazing. I heard it was awesome. I heard the storyline's insane. I wanted to play it so bad. I was almost considering getting a PlayStation just to play this game, but I was like, nah, that's, I can't do that. I can't, I can't. So I never did, but I'm actually very excited. Now there's a TV show because I want to know this story hella bad because all my friends have just been like talking about how good it is back when the game first came out and everything. They didn't spoil anything for me, but the way they described it was, so you know, like Red Dead Redemption, right? I was like, is it just as good as that? And they were like, honestly, it's probably better than Red Dead Redemption, the first game, because when they were when we were talking about this, the second game wasn't out. And that got me really interested because I love Red Dead Redemption. I love the first one and I love the second one. And they said it's just as good as that. And then even when the second game came out, I asked them like, is the last is the last of us better than the second Red Dead? And they were like, probably yes. And the second Red Dead was phenomenal. So now who knows if the show is portrayed as well as the game is? I don't know. I'm I'm hoping it is, you know? We got Pedro Pascal and we got I don't know her name, but she is Lady Mormont in Game of Thrones, and she was really good in that. Bella Ramsey. Yeah, she was really good in Game of Thrones. So I feel like that's pretty hard to fuck up right there. You know, we got two really good actors, the two main characters. I know Pedro Pascal is like her supposed to be like her dad i think and they're surviving like this apocalypse i'm pretty sure it's a zombie apocalypse i don't know so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon so let's get started okay it's 1968 described in your book yes yeah, a new virus in madagascar say mm, he's worried about new viruses hmm a global pandemic pan meaning all the whole world becomes sick all at once Mm. Wow. And, uh, Sounds familiar. But in the end, we always win. Microorganisms pose a threat. Oh, in the most dire terms. Not bacteria, not viruses, so fungus. fungus. Sounds harmless. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. Brain and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending the ant's mind to its will. The fungus needs food to live, so it begins to devour its host from within with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It, 
It keeps its puppet alive by mm. preventing. Okay, so they're basically just setting up like what's about to happen. Okay. No reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures. But what if that were to change? Mm. What if the world were to get slightly warmer? Hmm. Capable of borrowing into our brains and taking control not of millions of us, but billions of us, to spread the infection to every last human alive by any means necessary. Treatments for this, no preventatives, no cures. Well, that's great. We lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. The scientist talking sounded a lot like, um, Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sounded a lot like him. And the host? Of the show he looks really familiar but okay yeah so i was basically just setting up what was what the show's about how this virus happens and everything and it wipes everyone out okay i liked it good way to let the audience know how this virus works i'm not gonna remember everything he said every detail he gave us about it but i'm sure it's gonna be important later on i feel like the most important thing he said is the temperature it can't survive in you know so I feel like we're gonna have to remember that for later. 2003. Is that our boy? Pedro! Obrien! Mando! I saw in the subtitle his name's Joel. I kinda wanna call him Obrien, not gonna lie. You could work a double. Literally? Today? Oh no, I'd be done by nine. By nine, I promise. I feel like he's never gonna see her again because of what's gonna happen, because of the disease. Jakarta. Oh, we're advising U.S. City citizens. Okay, it's happening. This is the beginning. She still has money. Okay, I have no idea who this girl is. Lady Mormont. I thought that was his daughter. I guess not. I'm guessing he finds her then. I'm guessing she ends up dying from what happens. Oh, she called him dad. And then he finds Lady Mormont, and then it reminds him of his daughter right here. So he starts, so he takes her in and protects her, and they survive together. That's my guess. Twenty. That's it. Okay, thirty. Wow, she's trying to pawn his freaking watch. She stole his money and trying to pawn his watch. Wow. Mm. Oh, fire truck. Wonder where they're going. Oh, with the spot car. What the? We're closing. Ah. You should go home. Oh god, it's happening and starting. Hey, is everything okay? Like, on the news? No. Well, no, there was just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. Well, that's true every day, isn't it? People out there need to get right with Jesus. <laughs> god. Oh no. Is it ha it's happening to Grandma. It's happening to her. Hey, Mrs. Adler, can I borrow this? Oh, the dog. No, I really, no, that dog's gonna die, dude. As long as they don't show it. It's such a cute dog, though. Just knowing it's gonna die makes me sad. Oh, what the fighter jets? Okay, if I were her, I would kind of start tweaking. <laughs> I'd be kind of worried now. It's like, bro, there's so many signs. That's happened like right in front of her. She's just ignored them all so far and like. Wow. Fixed it for you. Oh, she just fixed it. Okay. Damn, I, she wasn't pawning it. Shit. All right, I gotta cut all that out now. <laughs> Where'd you get the money for this? From you. I sell hardcore drugs. It's better when I do. Oh, is this Rue? <laughs> Such a wholesome dynamic. He's gonna be broken when she dies. Yeah. Mm. But I'm in jail. The bar, some guy goes crazy, starts swinging at a waitress. Some dude's going crazy at the bar. Mm, helicopters. Oh no. Oh, what the law enforcement and emergency services attacked with further instructions. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, I'm letting that dog in. I'm letting that dog in. Dude, you know I'm. Let the dog in. Get the dog inside. Don't stay outside. What are you doing out here, boy? Bro, Miss Adler's dead, so she came to you. <laughs> She's, oh, no. No, she... The dog ran away from Miss Adler. Doesn't want to go back. Yeah. Smart dog. That dog knows. The dog probably barely escaped. The dog's probably infected, too. Mrs. Adler? 
dude, I'm not going in. After hearing, I'm not going in there. After hearing that, I'm, I'm turning around. I'm shutting the door. I'm minding my goddamn business. Oh, I'm turning. Okay, if I didn't turn around the first time, I'm definitely turning around now. Oh, that's her husband. Oh, I don't know what I could do for you. Like, oh my. I'm curb stomping her right there while you have the chance. Now, nah, she's probably in so much shock. Like, you don't even realize what's happening. Oh, Get in the truck! Right now! Yeah, bash her fucking head in. Come on. Oh my god. What are we doing, Joe? Shoot her! God damn. It's not just the Adlers. But we're gonna be brave mm -hmm. and we're gonna get out of this hole. Get the house! You lock your doors now! Dude, that'd be so shitty for your na like, like your neighbors too. Like you want to help them, but you you can't. Get your seatbelt on. Oh, we're running them over. Oh, we're running them over. Uh, uh. Denise, you don't understand. Ah, uh, Denise is dead. That's so tough. Saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. It's what? How do you know we're not sick? Yeah, how would you know you're not? It's the people in the city. That's why they got the highway blocked up. God. It's Jimmy's place. Oh no, RIP Jimmy. The Adlers would take Nana into the city? That's right. They would. Uh, That's probably what. Yeah. You'd have to go a lot, right? Yeah, cause she just went. Into, she went into the city earlier. Now, oh, I, dude, I would be tweaking. Oh my god. Mm. Fuck you. Do you help them? I don't know. Yeah, Keep driving. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Somebody else will come along. Uh, that's so shitty, dude. Cause like you want to help them. Like the good person inside of you is telling you to, but then the rational person inside of you is. Oh my god. Is telling you to keep going for your own safety. You gotta keep going. Oh yeah, we're in a truck. We're going across this field. Are you kidding me? It's probably not. It's not really the best truck for this, but like, it's better than my fucking Honda Civic. <laughs> oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I know that place. This can work. Yeah, but then what? I don't know. Mexico, just far. far okay. No, I'd go as far north as I possibly could. Go, of course, by the river straight across. We pick up the highway on the other side of the blockade. Then we're out. You know what's crazy? I literally just watched like a video like maybe two weeks ago. Oh no, what is this? Oh my god. Oh, that is that plane crashing? Is it about to crash? Because they're infected on inside? And the pilots are infected? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna say this super quickly, but it was an infographics video. If you know them, you know them. And they were like, if a zombie apocalypse had happened, go north, okay? They explained why that's the best idea possible. Oh shit. And why zombies and viruses that infect people cannot survive in the north when it's cold as shit. Like Alaska. Okay. Really, this feels like a video game right now. With, like the cinematography and how you can hear them talking in the background. Oh. oh my god, okay. Dude, I love this so far. This is so good so far. I'm staying I'm staying in the truck. Oh, she break her leg? Or something? Oh, she did. Ah. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> My ankle. Oh, it's her ankle. We gotta get off the street. <laughs> Fuck. Head of the river. I'll find a way. No. Get her out of here, Joe. Go. Bro, that's something. That's, bro. This is. That is exactly what would happen in a video game. <laughs> oh shit. Turn around. Turn around. Oh my god, dude. They're not like Walking Dead zombies, dude. Oh my god, they're so... Oh. Alright, whoever did that is now our new best friend. Don't move! My daughter's hurt! Oh, uh, it's a soldier. I thought it was gonna be like a random civilian. Okay. I'm sorry, Oh, kill. Oh, 
Yeah, he's confirming kill them. Yes, yes, sir. Fuck. No! We're not sick. Do it doesn't matter, you can't take that risk. Sure. That's it, that's their mindset. We are not sick! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Mm. Please stop. Oh! Was that Tommy? Let's go! It was Tommy. No, did he shoot? Did he shoot Sarah? No. No, he got Sarah. Fuck. It hit Sarah and then got him. Oh my god. Come on, baby. You're okay. You're okay. Come on. You come on. I know, baby. No, no, I know. <laughs> Tommy, help me! Joe. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Come on. Come on. Gotta... No. Oh, she. she's. Damn, she's dead just like wow. Dude, Pedro, he's like 20 years later. Oh my god. Pedro's such a good actor, dude. Is this Lady Mormont? Boston. 2023. Oh my god, that's this year. That's this year. <laughs> what month is it? I need to know. Oh. How did you get this? Mmm. -hmm. <gasps> Wait, no, my camera stopped. Why did it stop? Oh no. Good thing I caught that. Ah, oh, shit, it overheated. Hmm, what the fuck is this? What are they about to do? Hang them? <gasps> they are! <laughs> Bro, this isn't Game of Thrones. What, what are we doing? Or I could just shoot you. Yeah, but then what would you do? You're short five. Mm. Oxy? Mm. Oh. Hydro. Oh, it's some pills. The more mm. you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. You know who, kinda, who the soldier kind of looks like from the side? Not really in the front. Obviously, it's not this person, but he looks like Zach King. I think that's his name. I'll put a picture of him on the screen. But you know who he is. Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Fireflies? It's not like I planned on... Ripping you off. I paid you for it, you sold it to someone else, and you spent my money. I mean, you think I've never done shit like so when he sees you, I mean, put yourself in my shoes. The key answers to me. <laughs> so I give you my word that he won't hurt you, some guys, and then you and I can just move the fuck on. Now, your shit has pretty much ruined my week, and I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So, are we good? Yeah. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ that scared the fuck out of me. Oh you dead. Is that it okay I can that's clearly Lady Mormon, yeah. Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. <laughs> Seven, eight. You. <laughs> okay, so she's she's yeah. just like Lady Mormont. <laughs> State your name slowly. Veronica. Veronica. Okay. Don't worry, I don't want anything. But if you're feeling lost, you tell me to look for the light, and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> Is that really what he's gonna say? Okay, get into the building from below and take Robert by surprise. Pit. What? For saving your life. I am the one who told him not to shoot you, if you recall. Why did you stop them? We'll get to that. Is it gonna happen? There we go. No. So can I go? No. No. I won't tell anyone about any of this. I swear. Where are you gonna go? They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Hmm. Ellie. Ellie, okay. Your real name's Ellie. Your fucking mom or something? <laughs> and look like your mom? <laughs> no, you do not. My name is Marlene. But why does she want Ellie? Like, why? I was Fedra. Because it's where you'd be safest, and you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. And she has some connection to Ellie, so. Like, obviously, she cares for her, so she's doing this for her own purpose. That's why she told him not to shoot and everything. 
Why would you let me go? Because if you go, you're gonna die. Because you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I know. I think I know. She did get infected, but she she's immune to it. So they have to research her to figure out a cure. See why she didn't get it. Like, she should have gotten infected, but she didn't. So. Cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, I assure you, you will die. Yeah, I think that's why they kept her alive. Because she knows she's special. And she's the key. She's the cure. She has the answer to the cure in her genetics. That's my guess. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty common zombie movie, virus movie trope. That's what that's what Maze Runner was about. The fuck is with a piano in front of us? They blocked it off for a reason, dog. Yeah. Gunpowder. Hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, someone's dead right there. Oh. Oh, it's just a dead body. Oh no. Well, the battery's no good. Oh, that's you great. Still tried to sell it. Oh, dick. Twice. You greedy <laughs> fuck. Yeah. How did he survive the explosion? Like, did he leave the room or something? Like, what? All right, whatever. He's dead now, so it's relevant. Oh, uh, yeah. This is where he finds Ella. Ellie. Oh shit! Oh, that's her. Joel. Marlene. She's feisty. I mean, war must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. The merch was <laughs> bad, and he obviously didn't take fuck off her. What do you need a car battery for? Don't. Not at her. <laughs> Pointing at me. <laughs> Damn. She's really protective of her Ella. Ellie. So now I'm thinking, you're going to do it. The hell I can't go with them. Let me. Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? <laughs> you got shot off, damn. Thought she was being like now sarcastic, but no. Five minutes away. What I do have is you, and I know what you're both capable of. What are they capable of? You get her there safely. <laughs> Look, you trust her. No, me neither. But she seems desperate. Firefly vehicle usually means repurpose Fedra stuff. So better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. Okay. Yeah, we need that truck. We'll so. Your crew at the stage. <laughs> Joel, don't fuck this up. Hopefully he doesn't. I don't think he does. Hmm. So the friendship starts. The radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? She's smart. Let's figure that out real quick. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. <laughs> Your watch is broken. <laughs> Why would you say that? Sarah fixed that watch for him, dog. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? Maybe a year. What's it matter? But you know where to go, so we're gonna be okay. In theory, yes. Oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What? Mm. What was the song? It kept saying, like, like wake me up before you go-go. Mm. Great song. No, he missed it. Gotcha. Oh, you Davis fucking... means trouble. You motherfucker. That was not funny. I like her. I like her character. Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go. He's no confidence in her. She'll come through and then his confidence in her will build. Oh fuck, you noticed. You gotta do so oh no. Wait, is that the dude? Yeah, it's the dude who sold stuff too. Said, "Stay the fuck home. Get on your knees. Hands on your head." Really, man? Yep. Doing this by the book. Jesus Christ. Her. All right. What about three quarters? Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, she's infected, so she's immune to it. 
Oh. Oh. He did that because the first time it ha he was in that situation, he didn't do anything. And it got his daughter killed. And plus, Tommy is the one who saved him. So if he didn't do that... Yep. He did that just for her. Yep, she's negative. They see it. Go! We gotta move, Joe! This is tough. Mm. God damn it. <sighs> He's missing it. All right, that was The Last of Us, episode one. I like it a lot. I like this show a lot. Now, what I was kind of thinking about throughout the episode was how accurate is it so far to the game? You know, obviously like the entire series isn't out so you can't say for sure, but like, is this what happened in like the first part of like the, sh of the game or, or what? You know, it, I don't know, but did it like, like is that how Joel and Ella meant? And Ellie meant, you know, I keep calling her Ella because in Game of Thrones, that's Pedro Pascal's character's sister. So, okay, my bad. My bad if I call her Ella, but but is that how they met in the game or is it a little bit different, if you know what I mean? It may, This makes me want to play the game now, like really badly, but I don't have a PlayStation and I don't think I'm going to get one anytime soon. Unless, you know, I just got like... 600 700 bucks just burn a hole in my pocket then like yeah sure maybe probably not anytime soon <laughs> how much is a ps5 right now oh wow package by playstation 5 console and the last of us part one 569 dollars yeah i don't know about that one maybe one day but honestly i never got a playstation because i hate the controller dude i can't stand how your thumbs are like this like on this I love where the joysticks are. It's so much more comfortable. I hate how they're like right here. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I love Pedro Pascal. That was a given. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the actress playing uh, playing Elia, playing Ellie, just because. Well, I liked her a lot in Game of Thrones, but I wasn't sure like if she was gonna be like the complete opposite in this show or not. But no, she's pretty damn similar. Similar. So okay, no complaints for me. No complaints at all. But. One thing I will say is like this, this does feel like a video game kind of cause it's just like side quest after side quest. And then like we go on a detour, you know, we went to go get the car battery, but then the car battery was broken. And then we had the, now we have to do this other mission and everything like that. I'm not complaining. It just, it just, it just does feel like a video game. And you know, like how Sarah died in this, was it accurate to how she died in the game and everything? Just, just things like that, actually. Actually, and how long is this show supposed to be? Is it supposed to just be like one season that it's over or I mean if there's two games I'd imagine they would do one game over like at least two seasons pretty sure there's only two games though So that's four seasons right there. I don't know. How do you how do they plan to like do this? You know, I feel like for a show you got to do one game over at least two seasons I don't know. I'm not even sure how long the game is. So oh, yeah, I'm not sure what the schedule is going to be for this. I'll, it, I'm assuming it comes out on a week to week basis. So like every Sunday it's going to come out. I plan on recording it Sundays, but I might be post. I th I'm thinking Tuesday I'll post it. I'm thinking Tuesdays or Sundays. We'll see. But anyways, that was The Last of Us episode one. Very good episode in my opinion for the first episode. So but comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. Thanks for watching.